a few days ago in July of 2023 we saw what looked like a, a Makaba dance in Abuja the class of 99 has emerged they came to pay felicitation visits uh, to one of them the governors that imagined 99 uh, Tinubu being uh, one and they all came 26 of them many will not understand what was being said what was being done I'm sure some of us had seen the broadcast retitled class of 66 the class of 66 that deposited the fraud of 99 by, by brigandage on all of us have now produced the surrogate class of 99 Class of 66, which is the military wing of the Alliance of 67, that imposed since 1979 the fraud of 1990, what, what became the fraud, the unitarism that became the fraud of 99. That's the constitution we have. Having nurtured, they've become. Uh, pretty old <laughs> many of them are not able to move around the way they used to move or do things the way they used to do and so they are surrogates the people they nurtured in deceit in lies in violence took over the reins in 99 and have now become the class of 99 that sits above the constitution you are being told that you, you have a, a successor to that class of 66 that operated above the constitution. They were the power behind the throne. And so the constitution was dictated, handed down to us by them. And now their surrogates have taken their place to operate above the constitution. That is why they will feel proud to go to Rejoice with one of them who had tossed the constitution aside, threatening the rest of the country. And, and, and weeks after, not one of them has seen anything wrong in what their prefect of class of 99 has said, has done. Not one of them has spoken up to say, no, 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 we can't. So it, it means we are now, you know, we are, we are now witnessing the emergence of a class with veto powers over the union. Class of CCCs had veto powers such that the, the rule that bound you was not the rule that bound them. They handed the constitution down to you and sat above the constitution. And so, let us be clear that if the class of CCCs relied on the guns they controlled at the time. The class of 99 is relying on the constitution imposed by the class of 66. And as that constitution is going down, everything built on it will go down with it. And so a choice has to be made. If the class of 99 believes they become stronger, than the rest of Nigeria put together. They can continue in their gamble of thinking that that constitution that was imposed in negation and usurpation of our sovereignty can remain basis of the union and basis of democracy and governance. In that order, basis of union, basis of democracy, basis of governance, power and authority. The populace may not understand some aspects of what we are saying, but we know for sure that you do, do you do understand it. And so you can hang on to that constitution and refuse to join this discussion. Nina challenges the class of 99 because most of you have been governors twice, so you can no longer be governor. Only one person can be president. And uh, there's nothing to contest in terms of election anymore. Those who want to go to Senate amongst you have gone to Senate, you know, and so we address the class of 99 to say that 
this is the time to make a clear to, to, to separate yourself either to be on the side of the people or on the side of the oppressors of the people oppressors of the people all of those who subscribe to that 1999 constitution since you are proud to since you are proud of the of the of the of the of the, of, of the badge to, you you are proud to be described as class of 99 something that should be a badge of shame you are proud it's a badge of honor to be member of class of 99 go and look at your members and see their connection with the with the atrocities that happened between citizens and the uh, 99 it is something to be ashamed of because it is that fraud of 99 that has turned nigeria into into the poverty capital it has become why you fly all fly around in your private jets epitomizing the 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 the, 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 epi, the the height of corruption that has now become legitimized, corruption that is now being celebrated, impunity that is now culture. It will not go down well. It will not go down well. You have a chance to stand up and join in the campaign, in the urgent campaign to go to transition. To rest that constitution of 1999, to give the 1999 constitution a decent barrier, you should be the committee, the class of 99. You should be the the committee to preside over the barrier of the 1999 constitution. But it appears you are <laughs> organizing yourself to be the committee of custodians of the impunity upon which we are building the fraud upon which we are building a choice has to be made the people are going to topple that constitution it's already the, the constitution has already been delegitimized we have in july of 2023 advanced into the decommissioning process whether government comes along or politicians come along or anybody comes along is inconsequential that constitution that has been delegitimized is now in the process of being decommissioned preliminary steps i'm sure if you if you if you click even the word decommission you are going to see a lot of things to lead you to what the people are doing you may not know because you are flying over their head you leave them in the mud and the and the dead traps all over the you call road for them the people are organizing themselves and they, they would decommission that constitution on their own terms ninas has placed a framework that could bring orderliness into the decommissioning of that constitution. You may choose to cling with all your lives, with all your power, with all your might to that fraud. You may also choose to come to lead your people in how that fraud is decommissioned. That's the task. That's where we are now. The talk of election and who won and who will win is uh, almost, uh, you know, uh, 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 is, is completely inconsequential. It's not important to them. You've rendered their lives unlivable. Your children are all uh, 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 overseas. The ones who have come back are going straight into appointments as they come. And you think the two, the, you think the millions of the other people are going to be clapping and cheering forever? If you if you know what is good for you, Donald Duke, go back to Abbas Major and find out from him what he went to say in Portacourt. If you understand it for him, go and inform the other people that the most urgent task before Nigeria today, except we want to write off the union by ourselves, is to go back to making a constitution that comes from the peoples of Nigeria. A constitution that the peoples of Nigeria can call their own and defend against all predators. Donald Duke, go and find out from Obasanjo so that he can explain to you. Because we began to explain it to Abbas Ojo from the day he was, from, from the 1999 he was sworn in. Prefect of class of 99, Bola Chinobu, so that you can understand our disposition in the days ahead. In the project of let us solve 
the damaged constitutional basis that became, that is, from Nadeko, was that not what Abiola committed to doing that became Nadeko? Was it not to solve the damaged constitutional basis that was Abiola's commitment that became the Nadeko who knew? And from Nadeko, was it not the business of Pronaco to call a meeting of the owners of Nigeria to discuss among themselves unfettered? Was it not after the, Nadeko, the Pronaco business, as we went to court to say that the constitution is a 2007? Bola Tinubu, were you not the one, Shehu, uh, uh, not Shehu, Umaru Yaradua? Who had just won election, who had just been sworn in as president? Were you not the one Yeradu has sent to Enohoro and the other proprietors of uh, the other, 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 other you know, conveners of Pronaco for how we could come to deal with the matter from inside government? What was, what was our demand? We asked. We insisted that Yeradua must announce to the country, like Frederick de Klerk announced in 1990 in South Africa, that the constitution of Nigeria has become unsustainable, has to be renegotiated, has to be reworked, as basis of any business with government. Those who can, who know where to find Bolatinobu can ask him, he's alive, to confirm or deny whether Yaradua, the president of Nigeria, as having been sworn in before he formed the government, whether he did not send him with offers of what could bring us into government. For those who are running their mouth all over the place, thinking that a uh, uh, government can come and give us this and that. Those who can get to a person should also ask him whether he's aware of what we're saying, because he was aware from the day he was sworn in 1999 that this problem had to be solved. But he chose to become the opposition to it. He went and announced when we called a meeting of the owners of Nigeria, having aided him to stabilize in government. We called a meeting of the owners of Nigeria. Obasanjo went on national TV to say it was treason if we would call such a meeting. Wolesho Inka is still alive. He came from California to join in going to prison if it would become treason. This is, this is how far this matter has traveled. Muhammad Buhari was part of the foreign delegation that came to Pronaco. Go and ask him in Daura if he's still there, except if he's in Niger. Whether there's anything we're saying now that has not been discussed in private. So, since we couldn't resolve it around the close there, we will now have to discuss it in the open. And the public will join that discussion sooner than you can imagine. The general public will join that discussion. And so, what we're saying now is that Nothing will be, they, they will, there will be no business, there will be no dealing with anybody who, who pretends to have emerged or who eventually emerges as president outside the question of going to transition to rework the basis of this union. There will be, there will be, there will be no letting. If Obasanjo's brigandage did not stop the process, and what is a Ultra brigandage, even worse, did not stop the process. Let all of this uh, <laughs> Tinubu kind of uh, P2B, <laughs> you know, not imagine that they will come and begin to tell us the hogwash about what they are going to do. The 10 point interrogatories of Ninas, where we said, where we beam the satellite on things that will not change, no matter who becomes president, things that will not change with Nigeria. The very shackles holding your legs will remain there. The first claim that we, the people, submitted our sovereignty will, be, will continue to sit in that preamble. The first claim that we wrote the Constitution and defined the articles will continue to sit there. The 68 items on the exclusive list will continue to stare at you in which your economic assets are detained and the power to work those assets, including for your security, are detained in the hands of an omnipotent, federal, an omnipotent and omnipotent federal government. In a situation where the federation died a long time ago, a bunch of people sitting in Abuja, renegades sitting in Abuja, and say federal government. We cannot have a federal government if we don't have a federation. Our federation died in 1966. 
the unitary Nigeria that he mentions then is not our project. Our quarrel is not with Nigeria, the Federation, at all. Our quarrel is with the monster of unitary Nigeria. Let those who can make that distinction make it. Because some say, oh, they want to destroy Nigeria. No. Nigeria, the Federation, is what we are trying to, because that is the one that preserves the life of the Nigerians. Our concern is for Nigerians. And it's Nigeria, the Federation, that preserves their lives, the sanctity of their lives, and the quality of their rights. Nigeria, the unitary state, is the one that feeds on their blood. Is the one that has impoverished them. Is the one that is about to exterminate them. And so, whatever it will take, whatever was the reason of Oliver Tambo, whatever was the reason of Nelson Mandela, whatever was the reason of Governor Becky, whatever was the reason of uh, Winnie Mandela, Dr. Katreda, for insisting that the apartheid constitution could not be basis for their society, is the reason we are saying the 1999 constitution that is worse than apartheid constitution cannot remain the basis of any union here. And the only thing we are doing is to put on the table a framework for engaging that anomaly in an orderly manner, in a peaceful manner, in a non-violent manner. But if those who say they have become stronger than all of us, because in the face of that constitution, there cannot be rule of law. Except you want to convince me that apartheid constitution of South Africa provided an environment of rule of law for the owners of the land. It may be rule of law for the Boers because they pass the button among themselves. But those who have been excluded for 55 years are now insisting that the minority that has tied them down, that has locked them down, cannot continue to pass the button among themselves. The class of 66, we already got rid of you. We already, we already told you, we already, we already retired you. If you think you are going to <coughs> reinvent yourself to sit above the constitution and rule of law in the name of class of 99, perish the thought or get ready for an engagement. We stop here.